your Storm Tracker team forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, the next 24 hours are going to look a little bit different out there. When you step out the door early tomorrow morning, expect those temperatures to be sitting in the mid to upper 40. So we've got a nice little warming trend ahead of us for at least the next few days. By tomorrow afternoon, daytime highs will sit in the upper 60s and lower 70s across the area. We're also going to see a little bit of cloud cover. Once again, it was nice to get a few hours of sunshine today, but as you see here over the next few hours, look for those clouds to re-enter the picture and they'll be making their way in from the west. Even the possibility of some light rain, a lot of moisture moving inland ahead of that next front going into tomorrow. So you can even see it off in the distance here with our live sky cam. Those clouds well down the road over towards Lafayette at this point. Notice the current temperature is 60, a pretty comfortable afternoon. Right now our winds are rather calm. So here you go. We hit 60 this afternoon. That's pretty seasonal for us. We started out at 42, almost a picture perfect day for us. A lot of sunshine heading into midwinter. Temperature wise, we go from 55 in New Roads to 56 in Kentwood, 55 down in Homa, even 57 in the Morgan City area. Notice even over the next couple hours, you'll notice by the time we get to morning, temperatures will only drop by a few degrees, keeping us much warmer as you head back to work. So we got 70 for your daytime high tomorrow, very mild on Friday with a high of 73. Saturday, 66. Maybe some areas very close to 70 all ahead of that rain. And then obviously on the backside of that next cold front, temperatures are going to quickly drop going into Sunday highs in the upper 40s. And those overnight lows by Sunday night heading into early Monday, well, they're going to start out in the 20s. So satellite and radar picture outside. You see a little bit of light rain off in the distance, a little bit of cloud cover continuing to move in as we move forward. Here's the big scenario. That front's going to dip, but kind of stall out across the area. That's a concern. That's why we do have the possibility of a few showers in the days ahead. We're still waiting on that system well out west near the Pacific Coast. That's the one that's going to move in here and quickly drop our our temperatures. As you notice here, future cast again, the chance for a light shower, maybe even overnight heading into tomorrow. By the time we get into the evening, a little bit of clearing, but very short lived because as soon as we move back into Friday here again, the possibility of a brief shower. And then here's the concern going into Saturday. We're talking most likely midday, so late morning going into the afternoon hours. The possibility of a strong thunderstorm or two kind of indicated with the red here. Stay weather aware once that front dries through. Well, there's nothing but clear skies on the back side of it, but also some very chilly temperatures. So here you go, seven day forecast. We've got a high of 70 tomorrow with a chance for a light shower. Same thing with mostly cloudy skies on Friday. Stay weather wear Saturday because we do have that potential for some maybe even strong thunderstorms. It looks like they may put us underneath a marginal risk at this point. Overnight lows will sit in the 30s. Yeah, we're going to quickly cool off. If you're heading to New Orleans, a cold, brisk day. If you're going to be outside, a high of only 48. And then by Sunday night, we are down to 29. <sighs> okay. <laughs> That's all we can do is just, yeah, going just on. Take a deep Main thing is, yeah, just don't become complacent with the 70s that we're going to be sitting right. the next couple days. Just know that cold's on its way. It's weather right. trickery, is mm -hmm. what it is. <laughs> all right. Sports is an